What's up guys? Checking in with uh, another review, kind of a different type of review as you can see the shoes are already on the table. Um, but what we're going to be doing today is, is showing you the uh, kind of the top synthetic boots on the market and kind of the comparisons, differences, and in, in, uh, which one will be the best fit for you. So uh, today we have the, uh, the, the F50s right here, the Lab Lime colorway. We have the Mango colorway with the Nikes, Vapors. We have the Infrared and Black with the LZs. And then we have the older, a little bit older school uh, lasers with kind of like a pinkish gray. Um, obviously, we've done reviews on all these boots um, before individually uh, for the most part. So it's not going to be as much of, a, of an intricate kind of every feature of every boot, every kind of gimmicky thing. That we're kind of just telling you today what we have uh, as far as as far as far size, feel, fit, um, and what will be the best uh, possible option for you. And obviously, they're already unboxed uh, for the sake of space. So just kind of move this guy right over here. We're gonna start off right here with the uh, the lasers, the T90s. Um, so obviously, this comes in K light uh, and synthetic, but this was a synthetic version. Um, very pretty comfortable boot when I tried them on. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan. I was a big fan of the old school uh, Total 90s, and then when they started making the lasers, I wasn't really on board with it. Um, but they're okay, nonetheless. Not a bad boot. Um, not a bad choice at all. Um, completely synthetic throughout. Uh, they have kind of the the uh, old school T90. Uh, kind of grippy um, surface over here to strike the ball for curvature, stuff like that. Um, a little bit square, a little bulkier on the studs. Um, kind of just a, a standard uh, kind of square stud throughout the bottom. Um, as far as extras, obviously I'm going to show you kind of just comparing them. Uh, they do give you the bag, as all Nikes do, the total 90 swoosh bag, so that's pretty cool. Um, but other than that, not totally really impressed with the boot. Um, it's okay. It's like I said, it's not a bad, not a bad shoe by any means. Pretty decent insole, honestly. You got the pour-on insole throughout the entire boot. It's a very comfortable boot. It's just not as far as fit and and style and such. It just wasn't really for me, at least, my uh, my cup of tea. But definitely a, a comfortable boot. Um, if you are an old Total 90 user, do not expect these to feel like them, <laughs> to be honest with you. But they are not bad. Um, pretty lightweight. Uh, definitely not as light as, as some of the other ones we're going to kind of show you right here. But not a bad choice at all. So that's our first first choice. Kind of put that one to the side. Our next choice, uh, kind of newer choice, the uh, the Pred LZs in the infrared and black colorway. Um, these, when compared to the, the Total 90s, uh, they're a little, little bit lighter. Uh, just in the hand, they feel a little bit lighter. Um, obviously, you have the the five lethal zones, as they call it, as I went over in the review. I won't bore you with the uh, different kind of te technical terminology with the boot, but it basically what it does is it helps you strike the ball, you can curve the ball, you get a better touch, a little grittier touch. Um, just in trying them on and, and testing them out a little bit, it is a much different feel, to be honest with you. Um, it's got a much different different feel when you strike a ball on them. Um, I, I found them to be very comfortable. They feel a lot like the F50s. Um, they also have the what they call the pass zone or pass pad right here. Uh, basically a memory foam uh, pad throughout the whole side uh, for receiving and, and hitting the ball. Um, you've pretty much got an F50 bottom, the My Coach compatible, which is pretty, always a cool feature. Um, no extras from Adidas, as, as you well know by this point. Um, but you got the triangle studs, uh, the two bigger ones up here and in the back for stability. Um, but very similar uh, bottom. Actually, I can show you just to kind of take a sneak peek to the F50s. Um, almost identical bottom to the F50s, um, both my coach compatible, and just very similar boot. Um, the F50s are a little bit lighter, um, so th that's some, I mean, a pretty big difference, obviously. It's a, it's a little bit lighter, but nothing too, too uh, extreme. Um, as far as insert in this boot, um, you get a little bit extra reinforced up here, not a whole lot. Um, it's not really as, I didn't find them as, uh, as padded as the lasers, um, just doing the comparisons. I thought the lasers were probably the most padded out of all the boots. Um, so as far as comfort and stability, I gotta go lasers on that one. Uh, but um, just as far as, as feel and, and touch on the ball, I, I did like the LZs. So it's definitely not a bad choice either. Um, just moving on. As we're going over here, uh, we got the, the Nike Vapors in the Mango colorway, kind of an older colorway. Um, pretty standard with the Vapor 8s and all the Nike boots. You get the bag, Mango Swoosh, Mercurial, we already know all about that. Um, very thin synthetic. As far as weight, um, lightweightness of, of the boots, uh, these definitely take the cake. These are the lightest boot um, out. Um, and obviously they, they have had their durability issues and such and, and had uh, some problems with ripping uh, throughout here. 
and even cracking throughout the bottom of the spine. You're not paying for longevity with these. Uh, it's, it's really a performance boot, um, but it's, it's a really good boot. I, I was a huge vapor guy for a while. Um, just the durability kind of has scared me off in recent, uh, recent years, but it's not a bad choice for you at all. Um, it's gonna, you're not going to find a lighter boot on the market. Um, and they also are pretty comfortable. I can kind of show you what, what you get inside of them. Just kind of the perforated mercurial insole. Decently padded, um, nothing too, too uh, reinforced. Um, I'd say they're a little more uh, similar to the, to the uh, Pred LZ's uh, insert. Kind of a little bit different. They reinforce it a little bit on the, uh, the ball of the foot, but it's a nonetheless kind of similar feel. Um, so that's definitely a good option as well for you uh, if you're looking for something synthetic that's lightweight. And lastly, in the Lab Lime uh, black and white colorway, we have the F50s. Um, as far as lightweightness, probably the closest to the Vapor out of all the choices we've we've done today. Um, they're not totally a synthetic boot, so they're kind of cheating in this uh, shopping review, but you got the Galeo on the front, obviously Sprint Web, Sprint Skin, we've been over this multiple times, uh, and the Sprint Frame in the back as well. Um, very similar stud pattern to the Pred LZs that we, that we just looked at when I was comparing them. My Coach compatible. Um, and then you do get a pretty nice insert, honestly, with the F50s. Probably one of my favorite uh, favorite inserts of any of the, the shoes. Um, you get the double padded through the ball of the foot all the way to the heel right there. So definitely a good choice as well. Um, I guess when, when kind of laying them all out there, kind of laying them all out there for you, um, there's there's obviously a bunch of different features you got to look for when you're looking at uh, looking at boots. As far as support, comfort, I got to go I got to go uh, with the total 90 of the lasers. Um, I'd say probably the most comfortable boot out of out of all these as far as support. Just not my style as far as the synthetic. It's a little plasticky for my liking. Um, as far as just touch on the ball, I gotta go vapors. I'd say just from the ones I've tried on after trying on all these, you're not gonna obviously get the durability you want, but you gotta go vapors with that. And also I gotta go vapors with with lightweightness. Um, the Pred LZs are a close second for me. Um, I'm a big, obviously, I like the F50s as well, but uh, I go Pred LZs and, and Vapors. Um, and as far as durability, I gotta go with the, the lasers and the F50s um, from what we've heard so far. This is kind of cheating just because you get the you do get the Galeo, which kind of makes it not a full synthetic boot. Um, but very good choice. All these are, are very good choices if you're looking for a synthetic shoe. Um, I mean, my personal uh, bias, I guess, opinion would be the vapes, even though the durability issues have been there with them. Um, but as far as performance, I'd say they're, they're top of the class, um, followed very closely by, by all these. Um, so you guys can kind of decide for yourself. I just kind of wanted to show you some of the differences and, and not go on too much into the um, kind of the, the technical terminology of the actual, the actual boots, but giving you kind of just, a, just an honest opinion about uh, which ones kind of will fit you best. So uh, until next time, guys, I uh, hope you're well, and I will keep, uh, keep reading your questions, keep giving your feedback, uh, comments, and I'll try to answer as many as I can, and we will be coming out with some more stuff very soon. So uh, until then, take care, guys.